Tommy's gonna taste the gin so that you don't have to Let you save your money, yeah, that's what Tommy wants Minimal dilution, cause we wanna taste the gins But if the gins are bad, then we will throw them in the bin Now let's send it over to Tommy, who is gonna taste? He's gonna get all rowdy and shout up the place Hello and welcome back to Tommy Taste, the channel where I taste the gin so that you don't have to. And this week, as with every week, we're going to be drinking that gin, as God intended, neat. And speaking of God, what country in the world could be more famous for God? Probably Vatican City. However, this country kind of borders Vatican City. That's Italy! And yes, we're going to the Italian Riviera to taste... Da -da -da -da, Porto Fino Gin! This comes from the north of Italy and is a pretty much ultra premium gin on the basis that for one bottle, being a 500 milliliter bottle like this, it's likely to set you back about 57 quid. Uh, the 57 pound price quoted here is based on a 700 milliliter bottle. Given that this is a 500 milliliter bottle, it costs around 40 pounds. Still too much. There's only one place that you can get this in the UK and I'm not going to give you the website of where you can buy it because I think they are ripping you off big time. I don't think this is the fault of Portofino gin. It is an ultra premium gin but it should not cost you that much. So the only way you're really going to get this gin with a price that works for you is probably if you go to Italy or you befriend some Italians like I did who bring it back from their return home for you and it's very convoluted. But the good news is I have a bottle of Portofino gin. Is this gin any good? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. We have done some Italian style terroir kind of Mediterranean gins on here before, that being Gin Mara, which if you can remember, I loved. I thought that it was a bit wacky at first when I tried it, but I was completely wrong. So hopefully Portofino is going to be every bit as brilliant as Gin Mara. Portofino is a 21 botanical gin and it even shares a couple of the same botanicals that Mare has, that being sage and rosemary. It does away with things like thyme and olive but does include some other terroir style botanicals such as chamomile, sweet fennel and a load of other Italian herbs and flowers that I've never heard of and can't really tell you what it brings to the gin. <laughs> Will it be a real stand out terroir great gin like Mare is? Hey, I give him your gin now with a lot of a terroir. I think it's time that we taste it and find out. Ciao! I would like to disclose that I am not a racist on account of some of my best friends being Italian, therefore not a racist. Confirmed. So here I have a measure of Portofino in my little poncy glass. You will notice it's quite a small measure. That's because I'm not made of money. So I really want to ration this gin as much as is physically possible. Let's get our nose in the glass and have a good whiff. Oh, <coughs> cheapskate. Give it. <coughs> I really like the nose on this gin. It's hard for me to be funny when I like something, so what I'm instead going to do is put my sommelier hat on and give you a really wacky spiel about why I think this gin is fantastic. And if you think that I'm a tit, then I direct you to the film Som, where you can see how some real cunts talk about things like this. Portofino's website says that it smells like the sea breeze. This sounds wank, but they're kind of right. It has this great like salty aroma. It's really fresh, it's really earthy, so it's totally like terroir related. Hey, uh, fantastico. You get all of the nice herby aromas. You get a bit of citrus, a bit of anise. And it's just really, really pleasant in general. I can't really say anything bad about this nose at all. Is that a Portofino in your pants or are you just pleased to see me? There's not maybe so much juniper as I might like, but they are trying to maybe dial the juniper down a little in favour of those more terroir style botanicals. So I'm not really against that. As long as this is not a skin gin, just chuck the f***ing men in there gin, then I'm absolutely happy with how this smells. 
Let's have a taste and see if that changes. Oh yeah, did I tell you that my family are Italian, so we make the best Italian style of pizza? This has a fantastic palette. I cannot recommend this highly enough. Ugh! It is every bit as good as the nose, but more fresh. It has nice little sweet notes to it, and it's just all round lovely. I cannot find a bad word to say about this. Can I pick out the 21 botanicals? No, not really. But then again, I don't know what about half of the botanicals are. There's this nice kind of licorice complex, which I think comes from the sweet fennel that goes into this, but it's also really floral, thanks maybe to the chamomile. But yeah, herbaceous, salty. It, it's like a perfect pairing for most foods because the saltiness kind of makes you want to eat alongside it. So like if you're having this with like an antipasti board or something like that, something just that I must have whenever I go to Italy, I think this would be absolutely fantastic with all of those things. In the way that I thought Mare was also a food pairing gin, the difference is no one knows about this gin. So you're going to feel like hipster royalty having this when everyone in the UK now drinks Mare. And the reason I was put off it was because so many would tell me how like oh yeah I drink it from my Spanish villa and it's absolutely beautiful. Let's pop a little bit of ice on there and see how we go. So I've got a single ice cube in the glass there still looking nice and clear so it's obviously a chill filtered gin. Let's just see how that ice changes it. Yeah has anyone told you that you kind of sound like some kind of gay mate? You gay? I think it tastes largely the same if I'm being honest with you. It's maybe dialed back a few of the more herbaceous spicy notes that are in here. So I think I'd actually prefer this gin just neat, really, because I feel like I'm now actually missing out on some of the complexities of the gin, which is a little bit of a shame. That's not to say that it's generic or bad or anything like that. It's just when it was neat, it was so fantastic. So I'm going to put just a splash of water in there. I imagine that this is going to actually kind of mute the gin a little. So I don't really want to do that. But who knows? Might be surprised. It's not a problem though, mate, because... Uh... I know some bummers and they're bloody good blokes. The good news is it hasn't muted the gin at all. It has just made it like a longer drink and I failed to get like a lot of the nice little nuances that it had when it was neat. Ooh, someone used the word nuance, possibly incorrectly. This is a gin you should treat like a whiskey. Just add drops of water as you please. The ABV of Portofino gin is 43%. Classic good volume there, alcohol wise for this gin. So. I think just stick to that nice, neat gin. If you're not into neat gin, just hurry up and get with the fucking program. Honestly, what's this like my 30th video now? Just start drinking it neat. If you're not, just buy a bottle of Gordon's and just have a dram of it, if you can have a dram of gin, that is, before you go to bed every night. One of two things is going to happen. Either one, you become an alcoholic, sorry, or two, you find a real taste for neat gin that you didn't know that you actually had in the first place. So you really awaken your senses. Don't awaken your senses to Gordon's gin, but it will give you the ability to try things neat like this. So the conclusion, is this better than gin mare? Uh, maybe. Would I pay £57 for it? Fuck no, that is mad money that I save only for things like whiskey or rum. There's no distinguishing with price and gin. You can make an ultra premium product and just call it an ultra premium product. There doesn't necessarily need to be anything spectacular about it. There's no gold or like Wagyu steak being distilled in here. That's not how it works. Yeah, sure, it's like a better gin, but it's not worth that money. That is just kind of mad. It's not like it has complex casks. It needs time to age. You can make this in like 24 hours pretty much and then just store it for a while and bob your fucking uncle. You got yourself a quality gin. It is worth buying for the bottle though, I think. Look at that lovely kind of blue cuboid-like shape with the houses of Portofino is what I'm going to call it. Um, I might be completely wrong. Anyone from Portofino, do get in touch. This is a great gin. Go to Italy and buy it. Do not give any importer in the UK your money for this because it is ridiculous.
ridiculously expensive. However, I think you should be able to find it in Italy for probably 35 to 40 euros or so, which I think is a fantastic price for possibly one of the best gins that I've ever tried. Go to Italy and get yourself some Portofino. Brexit means Brexit! Portofino. Oh, you yeah. like and subscribe, girl. Like and subscribe. What? 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 Like and subscribe. Uh huh. Uh huh. Work it out. Like and subscribe.